In 2023, Audi's e-tron electric SUV scored an upgrade, and it went from being a plain old e-tron to a Q8 e-tron. And now the sports model has joined the model lineup, and it's called the SQ8, and that's the car I'm in now. Now it's the flagship of the lineup, the most expensive version. It starts at around about $185,000 drive away. Or you can get the Sportback model with the sleeker roofline, and that's more like $195,000. That's the car I'm driving here. The big draw card with the SQ8 is a triple motor setup. Now there's no other electric cars in Australia with three electric motors. It's got one motor on the front axle and two on the rear. Now the advantage of that is it means they don't need a differential at the back. You've got one electric motor driving each of the rear wheels and you've got some fancy electronics working out how much power to deliver to each one. So they can do some tricky stuff. So it's got torque vectoring for example. So as you tip into a corner it can actually send more drive to the outside wheel. So help the car turn and point and steer a bit more crisply into the corner. And certainly dynamics, the way this thing scrabbles around the corner, is right up there. It's got a huge amount of grip. You're running on 22 inch wheels, so it's got uh, really broad tyres on them that, uh, that hang onto the road really nicely. It's also running on air suspension, it's actually fairly supple, even though we're in the sports model, it's really comfortable, really plush. Sure, you dial up sports mode and that sort of firms things up a bit, but it's still more towards the comfort side. Now three motors, you might think it's got a whole heap of power, and yes, it's certainly well nourished but it doesn't have maybe as much as some people might expect. You've got 370 kilowatts to play with, so you floor the throttle, you've certainly got, uh, got a fair bit to play with. But to access that full power, to get the full 370 kilowatts, you've actually got to dial up sport mode, at which point you see the almost taco looking thing. It's not a taco, obviously, it's, uh, it's telling you it's basically a power gauge, but you see that then give you a little bit more on the meter to tell you that you do have that extra power. And torque too, that pulling power, phenomenal it does a brilliant job but the bigger news with the sq8 and the q8 range generally is a bigger battery pack so it's now got 114 kilowatt hours of battery capacity now that's one of the biggest batteries in any ev in the country so you might think it's got the longest range but not quite it's not super efficient so this one for example the sq8 the best you can get in real world 400 kilometers maybe a fraction more so not extraordinary now audi has also added a q8 e-tron 50 so that's actually the entry level version of the range now more like $150,000 starting price and it still gets the smaller battery pack so you're looking at a, a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack obviously with a bit less range but uh, that fleshes out the e-tron range the q8 e-tron range you've now got the 50 at the bottom the 55 in the middle and this one the sq8 sitting at the top now of course none of them are particularly cheap so don't expect this thing to be a huge volume seller on Australian roads. It's more towards the top end of the electric SUV uh, lineup.